the opening music here is super happy, and I really enjoy it. Okay, but down to business. Uh, so someone <laughs> on Twitter reminded me that I'm an idiot and I have a mount that allows me to vendor stuff or more importantly repair which I just I, I, I still haven't I've been, also, I've been reminded about this so many times I just constantly forget um, constantly forget Let's do any of these instances. I constantly forget that I have a mount that allows me to do that. I'm queuing up for any of those except for Temple of the Jade Serpent, because I've done that one too many times. I'd like to do one other instance here. Uh, so, <laughs> let's try one other instance. Um, but yeah, I constantly forget that I have that, because I'm dumb. But anyway, uh, let's see, what is this? Not an upgrade, okay. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to do here? Still need to hit up my bank eventually, it'd be nice, but... Okay. Black Conrad's Treasure, what is this from? Oh. I don't think any of those are that important to me, but it's okay. Alright, uh, so let's grab our quests. There's a quite a few we can do here, I think. Mm -hmm. Clearly you are a hero. Clearly your hero come to aid us. Uh, slay ten Batari tribe members in the Kunlai Pass until the Batari Fire Warrior appears, then kill him. Slay the Batari tribe in the Kunlai Pass to the northwest until the Batari Fire Warrior is angered enough to Enough appear. Okay, so we're gonna help out with the uh calling out the leader. Man, people are really relying on my help here, it looks like. Okay. Hit medicine. Use the Dit Da Jiao or your own healing to aid eight injured Banan warriors. Take this liniment. It is a powerful medicine that has been passed down in my family over the generations. Use the Dit Da Jiao to heal the injured warriors if you do not have the healing power of your own to use on them. Uh, okay, what was in here? I guess where I saw some weird stuff upstairs. Ah. We must have some. Hey, there's the pickle. Interesting. What else do we have here? Wanderer Chu. Temple of the White Tiger. Speak to Indu and Rin at the Temple of the White Tiger. Huh, it's been an attack on one of the most sacred places. The temple is in the northeast of Kun Lai. Maybe you can convince the White Tiger to allow you inside? I only hope the veil has not been utterly destroyed. Okay, that's way up there. Wow. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way over there. And at least one more quest over here. Two more quests. We're gonna pick these all up. We're not gonna probably do all of them because we're gonna ding pretty quickly, but we're gonna see what we can do. Honor the Midsummer Bonfire and Kunlai Summer. Okay, yeah, this is the Midsummer Festival. Will honor the flame of tradition dictates. Will you honor the flame with us? Sure. Honor the Kunlai Summit Flame. That gives us a experience of killing monsters gained by 10%. Beautiful. Super Your nice buff. Whoa. That's scary. That's the Shah of Anger. Okay. Killed him already. Like 12 arrows or commander, commander Shah? She? She? As soon as their reinforcements arrive, the Yangul will go and overrun our positions here. If they do that, the village will be lost. You'd be willing to retrieve as many arrows off the battlefield as you can carry. I have a plan that might help us save. Okay, okay. We can do that. It's easy enough. Um, what is this guy? This is the big guy I was just to summon, but apparently... Oh, apparently he's already here, so it's perfect. Don't know why he's here. But once we kill him, we'll go ahead and kill those other guys pretty quickly, I think. 
Easy. Okay, let's, uh... Nuke these down. So this seems like some pretty fun, kind of standard quest, nothing too complicated. Uh, we are certainly aggroing a lot of these guys, but and they do a lot of damage, or enough damage to be a little bit of a threat, but we can heal through this pretty easily if we need to. Okay. Thundered treasure, what's that? Cool. Alright, we've healed our buddy, grabbed our arrow. I like these kind of quests where everything's just like piled up, it makes it really convenient because you can just get them all done at the same time basically. Um, let's see this. And then one of these, perfect. You know what I need to do? I need to get my Void Walker out. That's what I'm doing wrong here. I'm like, why am I even getting hit? Normally I shouldn't be getting damage of these guys even. It's because I forgot to get my Void Walker out. I know it's mid-fight and not the most efficient use of my resources. Let's do it. Much better. Yeah, the Void Walker is so good for soloing. People always remind me to pull him out, and I try to. I just sometimes don't think about it. I don't know. I, I used to, uh, kind of used to imp for some reason. There we go, let's go up here. Got some arrows. Oh, can't go up there. Let's go up here. <laughs> uh, I still get uh, fooled by terrain all these years later of WoW. I, I was making a plan for my, um, you might have saw my video. If you haven't, I seriously, I don't, I hate to be the one people like, yeah, check out my video, like and subscribe, comment if you have a question. But, uh, I really enjoyed making the video of the one where I recovered my old WoW account. I'm considering it. So I think my plan will be to transfer two tunes over. I'm going to transfer every single thing I have on the Alliance character over um, through my Mage. And I'm going to transfer every other thing I have uh, on the Horde side um, via my... Oh. Get stunned by the uh, Battle Yak. That was mean. And then I'm going to transfer everything I can horde side on that rogue that I had. Um, I'm going to like stock up their bags, you know, everything can, the reagent banks, and just bring every last thing I can with me um, and transfer them to this account. Then I won't keep that other account active anymore. Um, and then when I do that, I think I'm going to use my 110 boost on that mage. Um, that was my first tune ever made. Um, isn't there another arrow here? I could have sworn there are two. Maybe it's under their corpses. Um, the, the the mage is the first tune I ever made. I was I played an open beta. I think I mentioned this. I played it well in open beta very briefly. Um, as I recall, open beta came out um, the day EverQuest 2 launched, or the day before EverQuest 2 launched, which was like evil of Blizzard to do, but very clever, I thought, uh, in a business sense. And... Um, I don't remember which tune I even played, I have no idea. I can't recall whatsoever. But, I ha and I didn't play for long, like two days maybe, I think, maybe a week, if that. Um, but but at once the game launched, I played my no mage, Konald, who I got to 26. And that mage um, is what I'm going to boost to 110, I think. Need? Even though I've got a goblin mage, um, and even though I've already got a rogue and a, war and a warlock here that's going to be max level soon, Seems like I still have 3 DPS max level, but honestly, I enjoy DPS a little bit more, and I really just like the idea of bringing back that tune, but I don't necessarily want to level it. Um, although, on the other hand, maybe I should just level it, maybe I should just get a bunch of heirlooms and grind it out real quick, or relatively quick. Alright, this will be the last kill we need, actually all these are more than we need. Um, Okay. We'll kill these, we grab two more arrows, and heal one more warrior. I think there's a warrior over here we can heal at least. I don't know. A little unnecessary to kill this pack, to be honest. Uh, our Q should be fast today. Today is July 4th, so obviously this video is going to go up much later. Or you're watching this much later than July 4th, because I actually got a strangely a backlog of videos, which very rarely happens for me. Um, 
but one day I forgot to upload a video or, or forgot to publish a video that I uploaded. Um, so they put me behind, and then I've just been kind of crunching out videos since then. Um, and I'm also coming up on a trip next week, so I'm trying to get ahead a little so I can have a few videos. Kind of queued up, so even while I'm gone, some stuff will come out. Okay. Well, that was a very productive... What, ten minutes? We got three quests done? Yeah. That should boost us very quickly. I want to fly through Kunlai whenever I leave the zone. So I'm worried I want to leave and not see, even like see it. But I've heard it's kind of a pretty zone, so I'd like to at least see it. Um, this next attack wouldn't have been possible without you. Okay. I'm curious to see what the next attack's gonna be. But yeah, I'd like to at least see the zone visually. I mean, you can kind of a sense from doing this, right? Very flat over here. Some burning tower. Giant mountains over here in the north. Kind of a little oasis I think here. But, you know, I want to fly through it a little bit to get some sense of what it looks like, at least. Um, I do plan to come back to some of these zones later on with other tunes and level out here. Maybe just do some quests on my max level tunes someday. We are delivered. I was right about you, Warlock. Neither of these are an upgrade. Sure, let's take the this one. Until next time. Happy to help. And uh, hit medicine. You have my thanks, Superlock. You have shown great honor through your actions. Admiral Taylor has awakened. Speak with Admiral Taylor at Benan Village in Kunlai Summit. Your senior Admiral has awakened from his injuries. He and his people are upstairs. He has requested your presence. Oops, too big. I feel like a panda cub is very appropriate for Pandaria, right? You, over here. How many innocents have died at your hands, you, Orc? You your and your poor alliance. No honor. will only be found in Azeroth's history. Books. Got him. That's funny. Is that you? I can't believe we survived the destruction of the Jade Serpent. Some of us, anyway. You escaped me in Bashir. You won't be so lucky. Speak with How many innocents have died at your so just come back and forth. Speak with Farmhand Bo and Elder Sudan in the Yangol advance. Jade Forest was a disaster. Anduin's gone, we lost some good people. We didn't stop the horde from advancing into the continent. But I think I found a way to get to, to get to get the locals on our side. You just helped fight off some of these Yangol, no? Um We've been told the two groups of I could shrink this, right? But I'm kind of scared that I'll mess things up. I, I think if I shrink that, it goes, it goes up to the top right, and then I can queue up in a moment. So, speak with Farmhand Bow and Elder Sulan. We mustn't fail. We're going to try and convince them to join up with us, I think. That's kind of fun. We got into it since real quick. I'm excited about that. Uh, collect five secrets, or secret recipes. I was gathering, gathering them up. So, we're going to collect secret recipes. It's fun. Kill Yangzo the uncasked. I am Chen May your journey Okay. Be long. It sounds like a, the elemental that we saw that, that one time came out. Oh, well, let's get our impact. Um What is this? Hold on, I don't know if this uh little counter is down here. Number of Hosen party groups disrupted. Disrupt the party to incur the wrath of Uku. Okay, so we just need to kill a bunch of these guys. Sounds doable. Hey, there's some uh, artifacts or secrets I need. I'm sure there's a lot of these around here, so I'm not too worried about them. That guy moved him out of my reign of fire. That makes me sad. Try again with another AoE. <laughs> So I'm excited to do this instance. The brewery sounds like a fun, a fun one. To be honest, we got in this queue so fast that this instance goes quickly. I'm gonna queue up for another instance because we're burning through levels faster than we're burning through instances. I'll take that book. 
Did I click it first? Nope. Sniped. Ook, ook, reminds me of Ooker Duker, which is one of my favorite NPCs from uh, when I was leveling. I'm gonna cast this in myself because I'm uh, drawing a lot of aggro at the moment. I saw Star Wars The Last Jedi was on Netflix last night. I was up late last night. I was working on a poster I'm presenting at a conference next week, and I had to send a draft to my collaborators so they could review it before I print it. Oh god, we're fighting these things? Sure, let's do it. Oh my god. Gimme that sweet AoE. The Hunter is really the AoE king here for some reason, which is really not what I'm used to seeing. Hunter's doing a bunch, bunch of AoE, but... I'm not complaining. Oops, there we go. Misclicked. Yeah, so I was working at, uh, I was about to about almost 2 a.m. working on my poster. Um, holy crap. That's terrifying. I guess we've done a 40. <laughs> Me gonna ook you in the duke. <laughs> okay, this is the best boss. I love uh, these guys so much. Apparently we can jump on the barrels. Me gonna ook you in the duker. It's good, it's good. I, I don't want to get hit by these stuns. Why is your DPS so bad here? Oh, the barrels. I want to get hit by the barrels. I see now what's going on. I see them running the barrels into him, and apparently that does... That's not right. Can I click on the... Oh, I can click on them. Got it. Okay, I'm dumb. Now I understand. Come on and get you. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy has all the best phrases. I don't know if it's actually good to run those barrels in. It's, it's already just like stunned my buddy there. But maybe I'm wrong on that? It looked like I just stunned... I should read the quests ahead of time, you know? Yeah. I do know that I should do that, but eh. How's a debuff on him? Damage taking increase for 40%. I get it. So it's a damage buff. Now it makes sense. Okay. Oh, I missed that one. So the trick is to, uh... Pumped extra damage on them through the buffs, or through the barrels. And then every time it stacks higher and higher. Okay, it's fun. I like it. I'm good with it. He's dead. That's a fun fight. Very cool. Not too difficult. Kind of fun. Very cute. Let's get our last secrets. So there goes Ook Ook. Are we fighting all these things? Oh no. The Dancing Hosen. This is the best instance. I think it's everyone else like leaving and I'm just sitting here watching the Dancing Hosen. Oh, I remember. This is where Chen was at. So I want to go this way. We're going to go upstairs and around. Easy enough. Alright, let's AOE some of these things down. Is everyone else already fighting the good fight without me? What are these things? I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I see. Uh, let's AoE some stuff? I don't know. How dare he get up? Or how did he get up there? I don't know we get the hose and clinger to let go and then storm start brewery on any difficulty. Okay. Like, all of us just completed that. that uh, one, two, three. Yeah, everyone here just completed that achievement. Funny. 
Are we supposed to fight these things at all? It just seems like we're just kind of running through them. Oh, there's our big guy, Hop Hoptilus. Okay. Scary. Uh, let's do this. These vermin looking things are really creepy. Like, they're kind of like something out of like gremlins, I kind of think of it. Or, uh, yeah, gremlins. I'm gonna spin around, I should probably stand away from that. I'm not sure how much damage it really does, but. It seems the kind of thing I should avoid, right? Uh, there we go. At least throw down, uh. Oh dear god. I wish I had enough for Rain of Fire. There we go. That's much better. I'm stacking the, uh. damage there. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's our AoE, is that hammer. Got it. Well. Uh, now I know. Next time, I'll use it. Again, doesn't seem like a very difficult fight. Uh, kind of a fun fight. The vermin are coming out. Oh. It's a uh, hammer time, the vermin. I see. I get, I get it now, so the whole point wasn't so much to uh, kill the vermin, but just smack him away. Hmm. Cool. All the vermin in the little eye scene now. Yeah. I didn't even know where they were coming from. Cloak of Hidden Flasks. Wow. It's a one hour... buff. I lose. What do I gain from that? 112 versatility. What's it? Seems good. What are they doing to our elemental? Even though the other thing is a upgrade overall, this on use maybe makes it better. It's such a huge versatility buff. Uh, I think that's worth it. Oh, it's two charges. I see. I thought it was a per. I was like, wow, I could use it all the time. Yeah, maybe I'll use it twice and then switch back to this cape. Um, oh, I just used it twice, didn't I? No, there we go. I was using the wrong item. Okay, I'm done. Sure, I don't use uh, flasks or anything anyway. What does it count as? I don't use battle or guardian elixirs anyway, so I should use that at least the two times. And then I'll switch back to my other item, I think, after that. So I get two hours of 112 boosted versatility. Cool. Alright, I should be... Uh... Alright, let's see. Yeah, okay. I like this instance. It's cute. It's not... It seems very easy. I'm sure it's harder and, like, heroic. But so far, it seems pretty easy. Cool. Where are we located anyway? I don't actually know where this is. Over there, got it, okay. Oh, I should know where that's at, because I saw Chen over there, I guess earlier, kind of, last episode, I think it was. So I should know that. I think we're coming up to a boss, so maybe we got another pole, so I was gonna say I'm... I was gonna stock up my... Uh, Soul shards, but probably no need. Got a few pulls still. Maybe. Yes. 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 So close. Oh, never mind. Just a pinch of oops. This is that scary beer elemental, right? Apparently, I should hide over here. Okay, I've got bloat, so I should uh, not stand near them if I can. My allies being what I should not stand near if I can help it. Okay. 
I guess it's the strategy. It's funny. I would have never known this. I don't know how I'm supposed to know staying behind the pillar, but it seems like it's a good strategy. Uh, just blocking. It's like the only line of sight maybe in here, which makes it pretty useful. Just trying to pump out all the uh, rain of fire stuff here. Um, oh, I'm wearing a dodgeball shirt. I can see it. It's uh, sure I got college because I was on the club dodgeball team. That was my sport in college. Pretty lame, but it was super fun. Uh, competitive dodgeball. It's good stuff. I highly recommend it. Uh, we weren't very good, but we had a lot of fun. I wasn't very good. We had a lot of fun. The team was pretty good. Um, yeah, it was such a good, such a good sport. Dodgeball's fun. I don't know. I didn't wear glasses and I had contacts, so. That made it a little bit less scary. If I was wearing glasses, I may not want to play it. Uh, someone died. That's our DPS. That's okay. One of our DPS. Don't care too much about that. These things apparently hit pretty hard because, yeah, apparently hit pretty hard. Okay. Um, maybe this is the boss now. Captain Cooldown has died. There we go. Okay, well, I'm just gonna res the dead guy. So I'm not sure. I mean, might as well now if we're going into the fight, right? I think that makes sense. Um, I don't know what this guy casts that I should be weary of. Apparently a stun. Did Captain Cooldown die again? Looks like he's gonna to, going to. That hunter is cranking out the DPS. Captain Cooldown's alive, good. The Yazoo the Uncasked. It's a cool name for a boss. Where's my imp? I'm gonna summon him as soon as I'm no longer stunned. I don't know how long the imp's been gone for, but I want him back. <laughs> I like to have my imp out. A little extra DPS, not a ton, but a little. It's it's worthwhile, I think. Oh, I can jump above those things. Got it. I'm understanding. I'm learning. We're spaced far enough apart, which is smart, I think. Um, yeah, oh no, oh yeah. Look at that, professional. No, no, I'm doing much better. DPS fell well behind the hunter, now the hunter's got a lead on me, but I uh, learned the mechanics, which makes me happy. That's, a, that's my own victory. Dead, cool. Achievement unlocked. Huh. It is the perfect food. The name of Storm Stout will be sung once again throughout the hills. Uncle What's this? Gauss, yes, you're welcome. This brewery was left in your care. What have you done? You again? Don't you see? I have made a name for myself at last. I have ruled this affection. Sit down. Have a what cause? The brewery is trashed, infested. <laughs> I love this conversation they're having about the brewery. In the main store. Look, chance to stout. We all can't be heroes, running cool. from our responsibilities, chomping around the dread wastes, saving the world. Some of us are artists. So we're very close to leveling now. Let's um let's Queue up for one more instance real quick. 
You escaped me in Bashir. You will be so lucky here. Since you got me that one so quickly. And I think there's some more quests we can grab around here somewhere, right? Should be. Thought I saw one after we turned in our last quest here. Huh. Looks like there's a quest over here somewhere, but I don't actually see it anywhere. Looking at the mini map, but I don't see it. Oh, a couple of them. How did I miss these? Sword Mistress, three of them. Sword Mistress May, Kill 15, and Rage Genium. What a betrayal. I fought them off when they attacked, killed a few here, but Merchant Shi is too much of a coward. You do it for me. Kill them, kill them all. So I guess there's a massacre here. Yeah. So it looks like it. They took my son. Okay. Click eat stolen supplies, of course. The first priority is finding my son, but if we save ourselves only to starve, then what have we accomplished? Cover some of the supplies. Find his son. In the Inkigil mirror. I'd ask May, but something's wrong with her. She seems too impulsive since the attack. Okay, so we're gonna rescue this guy's son, rescue the supplies. Interesting. Kill some Jinyu. My people corrupted. Oh, okay. The Water Speaker's staff. Recover Water Speaker Gorai's stolen Inkigil ritual staff. <laughs> A long name there from Orachi in Inkgil. Okay. The Shah corrupted waters. Okay. Um, so the, the Shah corrupted them. Got it. Rescue six ink, ink guild centers in Inkomir. Okay. They're not all corrupted. Some heeded the warnings and did not drink the Shah tainted waters. They are in hiding, terrified, and intimidated by the guards. Please tell them there is hope. Okay. We've got a bunch of stuff to do over here. Collect some supplies, kill some bad guys. Um, free these dissenters that are hiding. Or tell them there is still hope. Which apparently is all it truly really takes to free them. And you get my uh, Void Walker back out. I always forget to do that until it's like somewhat into the fresh fighting outside of the instance. Let's do that though. I know I'm in combat still, but I like to get him out. Uh, sure, let's summon this guy. It's a pretty packed area, to be honest. Yeah, everyone's fairly grouped together here, so... Let's kill that priest. So we're gonna probably have a lot of aggro. What is this? Exhaustion. Okay, got it. Uh, let's go for the staff that's over here. I like to kind of go for the quest, so when I'm thinking about how to do quests and these types of things, I like to aim for the quest. Why can't I talk to this guy? Huh. I like to go for the quests that are... have like one goal. Like, oh, free the kid, or, you know, um... I don't know. That makes sense. Like the ones that have like a single goal towards the back of the zone or wherever I need to go. And then like these mobs I'll kill along the way anyway, right? So there's really no reason for me to uh, go out of my way to kill these guys first. I just go through, get to the other stuff, and then kill any more of these I need on the way back if I haven't killed enough. So the ritual staff, for example, there's only one way to complete that quest. So I should come over here and do that. There's our guy himself, or Rachi. It should be easy enough. And then what else should we do next? Uh, find, let's find the panda. Or, not a panda. Whatever, this guy. Where would he be at? Over here, maybe. Let's charge through. Aggro, whatever. And, uh... Just AoE everything? It should work. Uh oh. Knockbacks aren't fun. Yeah, so we, I, I, I've gotten better at understanding how this works with uh, pulling mobs in Legion. I, I still tend to pull things one by one, but I recognize that I really could pull faster than that if I wanted. 
Um, because I can heal, I can have a good tank. These knockbacks are a special kind of annoying, but... Um, but generally I can take on, you know, three or four mobs at the same time and probably be okay. As long as I don't have some, like, terrible interrupt or some other problems. See behind this thing? Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, where is he? Welcome. When I saw the killing, I just ran. My father may. Are they alive? Yes. They are alive. I thought we would all die in this horrible mirror at the hand of these insane Jinyu. I returned to Merchant Shi and Wu Peng at the southeastern shore of Ink Gil Mir in Kumai. Okay, easy. And let's free a few more dissenters and get some more stolen supplies, and then we're about done here. Wu Peng is running. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's like a fast moving panda. Anyway, so I saw The Last Jedi was on Netflix, and, uh, you know, I liked the movie. I, I know a lot of people didn't. I saw it in theaters with my wife. We liked it. Um, I enjoyed it. I can see why people didn't. But I'm not a very hardcore Star Wars fan, and I enjoyed it. So, um, it's not a great movie, but a fun movie. I liked it. I don't regret going to theaters and seeing it. I don't think it destroyed Star Wars or the legacy of characters in the movie. Um... There was a couple parts that were a little bit weird. There was a scene, I don't want to spoil much, there was a scene with uh, Leia that was a little, just kind of, it visually looked kind of goofy. Um, I'm sure if you saw the movie you know what I'm talking about. But otherwise, I thought it was a good movie. Uh, so we need more of these. Whoops, I did not mean to cast an ending resolve. We need more supplies. Seems like the supplies are one of the hardest things to acquire here. Not hard, but just weren't quite as many as I thought there might be. And we're about to ding, I mean, honestly. It's sad to leave Kunlai so quickly, but I, I kind of am trying to stick to my schedule that I have made up on my, for myself and based on some suggestions from other people, although some of my stuff is... Let's kill this guy. Purely just on my own. Um, but I do want to see... Cataclysm content, and his only, only only way to do that is to go and do it. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep flying around. There should be more of these over this way. Yeah, I need two more stolen supplies. How's our queue looking? If by you know, let's see where is it? More supplies. There really aren't as many spawns of supplies as I thought there might be. Or they're just slow to respawn. Huh. I'm actually kind of surprised how few there are. Are there any in this in these buildings? No. Hmm. Let's see, maybe in this building. <laughs> Still no. There's one. Alright, get him, Void Walker. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. Perfect spot. All done. Uh, easy set of quests. The Jinyu, I uh, guess we have a lot of Jinyu kill. I wonder how much, how far to go in this chapter to complete it. Um, unfortunately, because I'm backlogged on videos, it's a little annoying in that any comments that I get from them are going to be after I've already left the zone. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, what is your hurry? Okay, Ink Gill Blade. This is not an upgrade for us. Keep the peace. What okay, you your possession. Have you found the supplies? I have. You found them. Oh, there's the supplies. Cool. May you find mastery. Look how close we're at a dinging. This is going to be a ding right here. Level 85. When do I get my next talent? 90? Man, it's a long way away. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm not quite there soon. The Water Speaker's Staff. Have you found the stuff? Yes, I have. Level 85, this opens Blackwing Descent, which is probably a Cataclysm Dungeon. Cool. 
and really not much else from it. Speak with... Oops, I clipped through that too fast. From the moment I first rose in the river, I knew it was destined to be a water speaker. You know what? Unfortunately, this is, like I said, I'm going to bail from here. Um, which I know is really lame. It, does, it feels so lame to leave so quickly. I barely saw the zone. Let's fly around a little bit. I'd like to at least see it. I wish I had faster flying right now. Let's fly around a bit, take a peek. I kind of want to head up these mountains. That's kind of cool. And adventure guide. What I'd like to do... I think I want to try Hygel first. Speak to Scenarian Emissary J Moon to secure transportation at Moonglade. Speak, okay, Stormwind Keep. Okay. Um, so what I'll do after this is on my horse, my heart's, oh, it's still in Pawdon. Perfect, because I think Pawdon, I want to go back to Pearlfin. And I think Pearlfin has portals back to Stormwind. Um, that's probably one of the easiest ways for me to get back. I just kind of want to take a peek out here and see how things look. And then um, start heading back, I guess. And then I'll spend until 91. I don't know why. Someone suggested 91, not 90 for Cataclysm to play through there, so I'll probably do about 90-91, and then I will move to Warlords of Draenor, which I know very little about. I heard, I have a bad feeling about Warlords of Draenor. I was told it was, I feel like it was one of the worst expansions based on what I heard about it. I'm going to grab the flight path here, if there's a flight path to grab, there it is. Let's pick it up. Doesn't hurt to pick those up, I think. But yeah, I've heard um, Warlords of Draenor is kind of a lame expansion for a lot of reasons. And I'm hoping the leveling experience isn't so bad. But I think it was more that the issue was that there was no content towards the end of it for raids. And it was just kind of boring for people at the last like three to six months of the expansion. But I feel like Legion was pretty, re pretty good at redeeming the game. Seems like a lot of people enjoyed Legion. I enjoyed Legion from what I experienced of it, which wasn't everything by any means, but I enjoyed leveling. I enjoyed some of the instancing that I did, um, but I know I didn't do a lot of high-end content, or very, really any. Um, it's kind of cool, the zone turns into this big, it's a very high mountain. Let's go up here. Neverest Base Camp. Mount Neverest. It's a very high mountain. Well, I've got a uh, view distance set to max. Do I get an achievement just for coming up here? I feel like I should. Father of the individual sensory beers and the four senses brew. Ren Yun, his other senses heightened by his blindness, suffered for years with what he considered to be the harsh taste of normal Pandaren brews. After years of wandering and experimentation, he developed separate brews that delighted each of his four senses, but... Though he had perfected these individual beers, the combination of separate elements into one perfect unifying brew eluded him. For a lifetime more, he wandered on until he found out the, at last the secret to bind all of his sensory brews into one master recipe, the Four Senses Brew. I bet there's a quest to come up here. Ren Yun, the Blind. That's cool. Hmm. Glad I came up here. Kind of cool. Um, okay. Well, what's over here? Seeker's Point, Seeker's Folly. Is a... City? Village? Instance? Dungeon? Shadow Pan... Shadow Pan Monastery. I feel like this is like the outside part of an instanced instance or dungeon or something, right? We only need a tank for our group at least. But let's uh can I land here safely? Very cool view from up here. It's a very pretty zone. I uh like I said a little bit of point I'm not exploring more of it, but it's a very pretty zone.
there's so much to do in this game. Leveling is not like what it used to be. I feel like in leveling, in, truthfully in vanilla WoW, you could level and see most content. Yeah, I, I would honestly argue you could get to a point where you're almost running out of things to do by 60, depending on how fast you level. Um, that does not seem to be the case here, even remotely. May your days bring you joy. Okay, so I thought the portal out of here was over in Pearlfin. I'm not totally sure on that if I remember right. I'm going to take a quick peek, but I think the portal to leave here was in Pearlfin. Nope, there it is. Stormwind. I just kind of like got this feeling. I was like, maybe it is here. Off to Stormwind. And I'm hitting up the bank right now. Um, Stormwind Bank, is this on the same spot? I don't know if it is. Now, I probably won't start Cataclysm today, but next time I'll start it, I'll watch the cinematic. Um, I think the bank is down here. Unless it's been moved. Which it very well could be. Um, that's a cathedral square. Where am I going? Not the right place. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know exactly. I, I've been to the bank probably since I started playing again, but I don't know if I necessarily remember exactly where it's at. I always get a little mixed up in Stormwind anyway, to be honest. What's this quest for? Speak to the festival lore masters over there, okay. Is this well met. Where is the bank? I was gonna say I'm sure it's okay, it is in the same spot. I just went to check. I was like, I bet it's right here still. But duh, there's a sign. I'm glad the bank hasn't moved. Although it looks different. It's a vault now. Interesting. What can I do for you? Okay, do I have a reagent bank? Yes. My goodness. That feels so much better. Wow, okay. Um, this requires level 90, I can put it in there. And... I think everything else I'll hold on to. I think that's... I'm gonna get rid of the Alliance, I can go pick up more of those later. Essence of Ranicus, I'm not gonna use that anytime soon. A couple things that I just don't plan to use much that I want to hold on to. Those I can just get rid of. Hmm. I haven't used my inky black potion in a very long time. I have a Grizzly Hills thing. I'm getting ditch that. Safely. I see where his harpoon controller. I don't think I need that anymore. I'm trying to think of other stuff I can get rid of. Some lockboxes. I already know this toy, so stick it in there. Is that tradable? Soulbound? I already know it. Yeah, they're not that useful. I got lots of bag space. I should really fill this up. Ah, let's purchase that. Okay, I'm feeling much better about the bag space. <laughs> That's a million times better. I knew I just needed to get to the Regent Bank and that would change my life. Let's uh, hit up the Midsummer Festival over here real quick. How's our queue looking? I'll head up to Midsummer Festival real fast. And I'm not too interested in worrying about this a lot. Hmm. 
normally do. I'm not actually sure what's happening, but that's okay. Um, torch tossing game. Huh. That's fine. I don't feel like doing these things, <laughs> to be honest. I'm sure they're a lot of fun, but I'm really excited to check out Cataclysm, so I'd like to get moving over that way. Let's clean up my bags. Yeah, it feels good. That's really nice. That's so much better. I was getting, like, anxiety from how much stuff I had in my bags. Here is Transport Mount Hyjal. So, Old Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Old Um and Mount Hyjal are the two places I plan to go. We did get into an instance again. Let's check it out. Mists of Panda Ria. Panda Ria. Panda Ria. Okay, we are in Gate of the Setting Sun. Two quests lighting the way, light the signal flame. And that's a big bug. Kill Ragon. There's a mantid. Okay, let's uh, pull out our imp early. And start killing these guys. This might be a slightly longer episode than normal. Which is fine. Kind of a nice way to wrap up Pandaria content, although not really what I intended, but uh, kind of fun. Lots of mantids here. Interesting. So bug people. This reminds me of a bug's life, perhaps. Um, I'm just gonna leave this alone. Yeah, lots of bug people though. Oh, interrupted. They do a stun of some sort? Stand back, maybe. Where are we? Somewhere out here. In the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Okay. I think. Someone said hi. I'm gonna bring this whole wall down. Oh, crap. Got locked out. That's really sad. Who are they targeting? <laughs> the first boss. Well, I can still be damaged through there. I can't target the boss, can I? That makes me so sad. Well, there's the first boss, everyone. I was literally replying hi to this person, and that was it. it. Seems like an easy boss considering I'm not doing anything and they're still wrecking him. <sighs> Might as well make a soul well. <laughs> I understand the importance of lockout mechanics. I wish they weren't so fast. Like, I wish it didn't lock the door closed way too quickly. I saw it, and I was like, oh no. Boom shakalaka. It's NBA jam right there. Did I even get experience for that? Got yeah, gold, so I guess so. Okay, well. <laughs> First boss down. That's really funny. Not, not that funny, sort of funny. I, uh... I always had the fear that's gonna happen on bosses, but it hasn't happened really yet to me, I don't think. Maybe once it happened. It happened, uh, on my... It happened before patch 7.3.5. I think I got locked out on a spider boss in some instance. This is a while back, maybe... Uh, in Burning Crusade content. I don't remember exactly what happened. But I remember getting locked out somewhere. And being annoyed. Really? Come on. Like, how am I sp Well... That's cool. 
don't know what that tree is, but it looks cool. Has anybody ever seen the TV show Visionaries Night Knights of the Magical Light? I don't know if that any, rings a bell to anyone. Probably people that are a little bit older, maybe in the group. Um, Visionaries Knights of the Magical Light. Whoa was probably one of my favorite cartoon shows as a kid and actually it aired I think before I was born and my family had like recordings of it that I watched. Um, it, you can find it on YouTube I think some episodes and there's only like maybe 13 episodes like I don't know how to explain it but it was a really good movie. It was a really good cartoon TV series I thought. It was a lot of fun. It was very um it reminds me of Warcraft in all the ways that people cast spells, they had they transformed into animals, in a way. I almost got off the elevator, but I realized it was an elevator and I jumped back on it, and I did not miss this fight. Striker, get him. Okay. Seems like a good group. They're moving fast. I don't know. They, they seem like they know what they're doing. And the DPS is high. Prepares to make a strafing run. Okay. Let's kill these ads. I guess I don't want to stand in this stuff. I feel like killing the ads is useful. Maybe still not standing this stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. Gek pad survived all that, which is great news. I was worried my little buddy's gonna die. Let's get another emulate cast him before he starts strafing away. And let's kill these little bugs. I mean, this doesn't do that much damage. I feel like running through it doesn't really matter that much to me. Oh, this guy's almost dead. It really doesn't do that much damage. Like, it doesn't really... I'm standing in it, but it doesn't really seem to matter much. Um, okay. Fire the cannons to kill the bombardiers. I want to get that cannon. Hope I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's all. Easy enough. I think that's it, right? Oh, well, they left us. Okay. How do I get down there? I fell behind the group again, didn't I? Whoa, there's our big guy. That reminds me a lot of... I mentioned this game just the other day. Um, and what does it remind me of? There's Commander... Whoops, I don't want to go that far ahead, do I? I thought that was our guy down there fighting, it was actually just an NPC. About to pull the whole big boss by himself. Okay, um... I think I'm ready for the boss. Oops, nope. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna clear these guys off our healer. Not that the healer can't take a little bit of that damage, but I don't want to have it unneedlessly tank stuff if it can not do it. I think I want to not stand in all that gum and incinerate as many as I can. Um, it reminds me of those bugs remind me a little bit of... I think I'm thinking of like... Alien Front Online. Which I think I mentioned that in another video recently. 
It's a really fun Dreamcast game. I read recently that someone re like revived it as an online playable thing. They like host their own servers. Um, you know, it's like a 15 year old game now. Let's get two vicious rings. What the heck? How do I get two of these rings? Um. Apparently it's, apparently it's like a wild upgrade for me, so if someone wants the other one, they can have it. Otherwise, I'll keep them. Oh, that speed boost is nice. I was just saying, I was like, I'm so slow compared to these people. Man, look how big that text is. You know this is a big boss. Didn't die. Are we fighting the boss now? Um. This is terrifying. I don't know if I should be here. Seriously, I'm like horrified that I'm in this spot right now. <laughs> uh, I did not know that was, that's what it was going to do to me. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Uh oh. I'm getting slapped off this guy, aren't I? Okay. I got this. I think it's what I'm supposed to be doing. Feels right. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I don't really know if that was supposed to happen, but <laughs> I'm actually a little terrified of this boss right now. This is the biggest boss fight I think I've ever been in, right? Have I fought anything bigger than this? I don't think so. Really cool boss. Um, let's not stand that. Easy boss, kind of, but cool boss. Okay. Um, let's go turn our quests. That, that was kind of a fast instance, actually. I liked it. Lighting the way. Outstanding. Your timing couldn't have been better. And let's see. Mm, more back upgrades, which I've already got a good one, I think. Great job. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Fun, easy. That's a cool instance. Uh, Gate of the Setting Sun. I liked it. I like it. Um, did I not leave? You leave the group. Okay. Uh, that was a nice way to say goodbye to Pandaria. Got a little bonus dungeon in this episode, real fast. That was fa that was quick, wasn't it? I mean, it felt like that was no more than ten minute dungeon. It's one of the fastest dungeons I think I've ever been in. All right, let's go see what's going on here. Who's this? Hold still. Alicia. I'm not going to Outland. That's fine. Alright. Here's our emissary. Off to Moonglade. I feel like it's from Moonglade we can get to Kata. Oh. To Hydro. <laughs> and... We knew the Lions would send help. Fly to Hydro using Aronis and speak to Ysera. Wow, once you're there. It's good that you've come here just as Azeroth finds itself in a time of great need. Deathwing's minions are attacking Hydro and seek to bring the destructive Ragnaros back into our world. Ragnaros 2.0, huh? Cool. Well, I think we're gonna stop here. Because next time we will, uh. Next time we'll take that flight and we'll land in Hydro. And then I guess we'll start Kata. I'll watch the cinematic. Um, anyway, that's all for today. I'm sad to see Pandaria come and go so quickly. I really enjoyed it. I think I liked Valley of the Four Winds the most. More than Jade Forest. I didn't really see enough of Kunlai, and I didn't see any other zones to really compare. But I liked Valley of the Four Winds a lot. I want to go back there and do some more quests um, in the future. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.